Today, I went to see a movie called uh, King Arthur, and uh, the movie has um, a theme of magic, just like everything in this world. If uh, you have realized that there is magic going on all the time, um, then this video is for you. Otherwise, you have to watch the other videos before you can jump into this one. Uh, the story is about a man who doesn't know who he is. He doesn't know about magic. He doesn't know. Uh, magic is just a word for a science that we don't truly understand. So we don't have to be superstitious, but and this world can be manipulated. And uh, for the people who want to disagree, go ahead, disagree. It doesn't matter. But one thing is still, uh, still um, is happening, and that is that those who have been in power have been using magic against the rest of us who had no clue that magic was actually possible. And so, um, well, first we can start with these dragons here. The dragons are um, talked about in China. We can see this Chinese dragon, which is a serpent with um, feet. Then we see a dragon in England. And uh, the story of uh, Arthur is that he is half dragon and half human. So he is one of the first hybrids we know of from legends. Um, this statue that you see here, it's a Norwegian a statue of a dragon making what, what it seems to be, like making love to a, a female from uh, this planet. <clears throat> and we have also females making love to males who seem to not exactly be wanting, but they seem to be coerced. Uh, in the movie, Arthur, uh, he, he has an adversary that has been reigning over England, and he has been using magic. And uh, even though Arthur doesn't believe in magic, or is not aware of magic, uh, these forces are all around him and eventually he gets exposed to them and he has to learn how to use this power so that he can fight the this other black magic um, we see that churches have been planted all over the earth and uh, they carry out the black magic to deceive everyone people um, actually believe in a god that has never talked to them but at the same time is supposed to be omnipotent all-knowing all capable and i am not saying that god does not exist because I believe that God does exist but we have been lied about who God is and God is certainly not the one of the Bible or of the Muslims or of the Jewish people no it is it's not the, 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 the one true God doesn't exclude you you are one with him and her and it because God is all. Um, but what we are faced right now is we have uh, some people who are not interested in 
the benefit of all. In those people, we must remove, uh, and this is what we're doing now. This, their time is up. We, through our love and our intent of, of bringing the end of war, we are taking away everything from them and giving it to every one and we can see that most likely these individuals are half something and half human and since the dragons seem to be talked about throughout our history or the people's history and most likely they were able to become human-like and so walk around among us uh, making us believe that they are just like we are um, but there is a big difference between somebody who has a soft heart a human heart and those who have uh, historically occupied positions high positions in this world, these individuals seem not to care, not to mind the fact that there are so many people suffering in this world. And uh, this is the reason why I and uh, many people across the internet, across the world, have decided to shed one drop of our blood to bring the end of war and love to all which in, in a sentence is to bring heaven on earth and um, yes you will think well well this is this is magic um well, imagine if I told you that there is a cult that is taking blood and putting it into some other person's body, but somehow it helps them. And you, you're, you're thinking, oh my gosh, this is really satanic, right? Oh my gosh, this is, this is horrible. And then I, now I tell you, Yes, that is called a blood transfusion. Then all of a sudden your mind, who, who can easily be manipulated in the name of science, accepts this new thing. Oh, that's not satanic. That is necessary to save somebody's life. It's not a game. All of a sudden you accept it. But then there are some people uh, Jehovah Witnesses who believe that that is wrong. It's wrong to take a blood transfusion. And now we take the side of, of science and we say, oh no, that, that is unbelievable how this religion can, you know, they would just let the person die but not take a blood transfusion. That is, you see how the mind can so easily be manipulated. All we're talking about is putting one drop of blood once and never again over the words, no more war, love to all, and the intent of bringing heaven to earth. You see, I am adding these other things because it's important to have a description of what heaven means to us. And what it means is that all of us will have abundance. All of us will have everything we ever wanted. And then you're saying, how is it possible? Well, it's very easy. Because this world can be manipulated. This world is not a physical world. Solid, like people seem to believe it. Even as the so-called scientists now look under the mic microscope, they realize that there is energy particles vibrating. And they hold what we call solids or liquids together so 
even these people are realizing what we are talking about. But this video is for those of us who have already embarked in this blood over intent revolution. And it's interesting how the word our evolution, right? Revolution. So we have to pay attention to the words because that, as we have learned, words are used against us. And words can be on our side also, depending on what we choose. But once we have liberated ourselves from this dark magic, um, then things are very different. Thank you and love to all.